chemistry can be really intimidating, and there's a bunch of ways you can learn chemistry, right? You can you can buy a course online. Um, you can buy a textbook. So textbooks are books, but they're you know used in colleges usually or high schools, and so they contain a ton of knowledge, um, and they're big and they can be intimidating. You can get a workbook, which shows you how to solve chemistry problems. That's always a good option too. But a lot of times for those, you want to have some chemistry knowledge, which you would get from textbooks or courses. Or you can get a very, very beginner-friendly book that doesn't have everything, but it will help you get started. It's everything you need to ace chemistry in one big fat notebook. And uh, this is part of like, I guess, the big fat notebook series. I have a whole bunch of these. Um, I'm a fan. I collect. Uh, math and science books, so when I saw these, I'm like, oh, I have to buy them. So I bought them. And I don't buy every new book that comes out, just, just a few. This one I picked, this one, because I love the covers. I love how they have a color. Also, they're not really like a soft cover or a hard cover. It's kind of like a hybrid. Now, they're not perfect. You know, they will crease, as you can see, uh, through use. And this one, um, the biggest con of this book, the biggest uh, negative feedback I've gotten from people who know a lot of chemistry is that it doesn't really have that much in it. You know, you're not going to get what you get from a chemistry book, a chemistry textbook. But this has a lot, and it gets you started, and you're going to learn a lot of stuff. And the way it explains it is in a very basic way. So it says here, this notebook is designed to support you as you work through chemistry. Consider this book to be a, com a compilation of notes taken by the smartest person in your chemistry class. The one who seems to get everything and takes clear, understandable, accurate notes. Yeah, so let's look at the contents here so you can see what it does contain. So basics of chemistry, all about matter, and then we have atomic theory and electron configuration, elements and the periodic table, bonding and Vesper theory. It's got some more topics here. Gases, acids and bases. So this is just a book for beginners in chemistry. I have never taken an actual uh, course in chemistry. Uh, the, all the chemistry I know is from physics and from biology. So I thought this looks like a really cool book. Let me just check this out. So I bought it. I was like, that, that's cool. You know, I can read this and like learn some stuff. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great book for chemistry. But again, the biggest con uh, I've gotten, the biggest complaint is that uh, it doesn't have a lot of stuff. and. It explains everything you see. It's got pictures. I mean, let's just go to the very beginning. The very, very beginning. See what it says. Like the very beginning of the book. So, it talks here. Introduction to chemistry. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the branch of science that studies matter. What it is and how it changes. Matter. Anything that occupies space and has mass. Everything you see, touch, hear, smell, and taste involves chemistry and chemicals, which are all matter. Chemistry investigates the properties of matter, how they interact, and how they change. And here, here, chemistry is like cooking. For example, when you're making a hamburger or you're doing any kind of cooking, you are mixing ingredients. The meat, which is the matter, mashing, applying a force, and grilling, changing the temperature until you get a hamburger, a new substance. Chemistry is everywhere. The creation of food, how and why food rots. Cool. Cleaning. The creation and use of detergents, disinfectants, and soaps. Medicine. Wow, right? Environment, so it's, it's really, really cool, right? So it, it just teaches you stuff. I think it's fun. It's a fun little book uh, just to get you, you know, going and learn some really basic stuff. But yeah, I like it. I just wanted to share this book. If you want to learn math, by the way, I have courses. I don't have a chemistry course, but you could check them out. They are on my website, uh, mathsorcer.com. The courses are actually on Udemy, but um, if you get them, use my website because it helps me a lot also. I lowered the price, so it helps you. So I lowered the price, so when you use my link, you should get a low price. MathSorcerer.com. And subscribe if you want, if you like, you found value. I, I do a lot of book reviews and stuff like that. And I also have a fitness channel. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer, so you can check that out if you want to. But this is interesting. Wow, look at that. There's the periodic table. Key takeaway from this video should be that this is a book for beginners, 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 like super beginners in chemistry, right? People just getting started. I gotta smell it here. I love the way it smells. Ah, it's awesome. Until next time, good luck.